Hey, welcome back to my channel. You clicked on this video so you already know what it is. This is my Sephora haul. I made a few bad decisions, but smart decisions. And I went ahead and participated in the VIB sale. So I am a VIB member. I got 15% off my purchase. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Sephora over the weekend. So if you wanna see what I got, continue to watch. And of course, as always, stay classy, stay cute. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you consider subscribing. And if you are a lovely subscriber, you already know what it is. Let's hurry up and get this video popping. Let's see all the goodies. So this is my little bag of goodies. Of course, I'm gonna start with the skincare. So let's get it on and popping. So I had to jump on the Tatcha. Tatcha. Is that how we say it? Tatcha? I had to jump on the Tatcha train. So I went ahead and purchased the Violet C Radiance Mask, which is amazing because, of course, vitamin C is amazing for our skin, women of color. It helps with uh, fading dark marks. It helps uh, rejuvenate your skin. This is also anti-aging and it allows your skin to brighten. So I cannot wait to use this. Hopefully I get a chance to use it this weekend or tonight. It really all depends. I'm feeling kind of lazy. Let me open it for you guys so you can see it live and in color. So the packaging is beautiful. So it actually comes with a pretty gold applicator and the packaging again is amazing. Here she is. This is actually really big and the inside it seems like you get a lot of products so I'm assuming a little bit goes a long way so I'm really happy about this purchase. This was about $68, so of course I got it a little cheaper because of the sale, so I'm excited. I had to pick and choose between the mask and the cream, so if I'm picking, I definitely want to do a mask first, so I want to possibly try the mask on video, so maybe that will be my next video. We'll see. I also picked up the primer. This is the travel size. I am a stickler for picking up travel size items before I, you know, use the bigger size. So I really didn't mind the price either. It was 22 bucks or 20 bucks maybe, but it's not a bad size at all. And I cheated you guys. I'm actually wearing this primer now and it is the silk canvas and it actually speaks for itself. It feels like silk on your skin. It's as smooth as a baby's booty. It kind of blurs your skin as well, so it hides your pores, and it allows your makeup to look amazing. Can you see it? Can you see it? So I'm so excited. This is gonna go a long way as well, because of course you don't have to dig all up in it. Um, you just, you know, open it up. You put a little bit on your finger, add it to your skin, and it just feels amazing. So this was a great thing. The next item that I picked up was a NARS foundation. And to be quite honest with you, I did not go in there looking for a foundation, but guess what? Your girl got bamboozled and picking up a foundation because I actually have a NARS Sheer Glow foundation and it's a little light. It's pretty much the same shade that I have in the Fenty, but I kind of wanted something that was more on the brown side and not so much on the orange red tonish side that I typically wear so I'm actually wearing it now and I think it is a match it's a match so let me show you guys what it looks like in the bottle so this is what it looks like in the bottle and the pump was not included so I picked up the pump and at the same token I broke it Ugh recording before recording so I'm a little upset about that but it does the job but um, this is one of the newer shades the shade is new Caledonia so they have a lot of in-between shades that they are releasing so if you're like me and you are in between and you have to mix your foundations nine times out of ten to kind of get it you know an exact match check them out this was maybe like $49 but of course with this sale, it's a little cheaper. So I was happy I was able to get it a little cheaper than the original price. And y'all know it ain't a haul without some Fenty because I'm always going to support my sis, Rihanna. Love her, I stand, I stand. So I went ahead and picked up a highlighter. 
This one is Kilowatt, so it's Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. And this is my second highlighter that I have purchased through Fenty. I have Trophy Wife, and you know Trophy Wife is really intense. So I wanted something that's really mild and really went well with my skin tone. So when I went ahead and saw this, I was like, ooh, she's pretty. So here are the two colors. And I thought it looked really pretty on my skin tone, so I cannot wait to wear it. I'm not wearing it right now. I didn't cheat 100%, but um, I'm excited to try it. I love it because it adds a cute little shimmer, and that's all you really need. You don't really want to be blinding, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis when you're in the office or at church or wherever. You just want to be chilling. So this definitely is a highlight that's very minimal, and of course, it's worth the money because it's been too does. So I'm excited to try this out on vacation and to wear it at work and at church and just to have a little some some on my cheeks. So I also went ahead and purchased the Mocha Mommy Sun Stalker. This is a bronzer and to be very honest with you guys, I have never used a bronzer in my life. So this was very pretty. It is a deep shade. And um, I know a couple of people do use bronzer with their contour, but I plan on using this as a contour. So I plan on using it as a contour. You can see that it is a deep shade and it complements my skin really well. So I'm really excited to wear this as well. I think what sold me on this bronzer is that it's not like a really dark contour. It really just adds depth to your skin or your contour. So I like that it's very subtle and it's not like boom on your face like you're trying to slice and dice. But I really cannot wait to add this in my regular routine. So the final item that I did purchase is the Gloss Angeles Extra Shine Smashbox Lip Gloss. And let me tell y'all, every day of the week, my lip gloss is popping. I'm like being an old lady these days. Like I wear the e.l.f. lip gloss, but I was like, I want something that's really more intense and it's not sticky. And this is her, this is she. So this was 19 bucks and I really didn't mind because it's not a bad size and it's not sticky and it looks amazing. I'll add a little bit on my lips for you guys. I am a gloss girl. So can you see it? So it feels great on my lips and it's not sticky like I mentioned before and it gives a lot of shine to your lips even when you're not wearing anything like if you just have nothing on bare lip it looks amazing. So it feels amazing on your lips. It allows your lips not to stick together. It feels soft and it looks cute with a lip color and your bare lips. So if you don't wear anything during the day and you just want a little bit of popping, popping or allow your lips to gloss a little bit, this is she, this is her. If you don't mind, you know, paying over $10. But I do recommend also the e.l.f. one. That one's really cute too. It doesn't shine as much as this one, but it does get the job done. So I'm happy that I have a low-end gloss and a high-end gloss. So check her out for sure. All right, that is the end of my Sephora haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Make sure you check out the other videos on my channel at the end of this video. And I'm going to see you later. Bye.